All right, final side objective, retaking the base. Difficulty... Seven out of nine? Seven out of eight? I have to remind myself what the max stars are every time. Uh, an infiltration. The passages around your base have been occupied by foes. Retake your position, even though this is a side objective and we're already ready to the judgment, so one might question why most... <laughs> Yeah, at some point you have to question why most of the missions exist in this game, right? Your whole, your goal is just to get to the Judgment. And so you do the three main missions and then you're at the Judgment already. And But then you do three side missions on every floor, plus the deluge of, uh, of character quests on each floor. And at some point you're like, what is our... what are we doing? Don't, aren't we trying to get to the ending? <laughs> what? Aren't we in a hurry? Why is the majority of this game spent doing side content? Obviously, I'm doing side content because I'm doing a RPG progression system and I want to be... I want to have sufficient uh, resources for my money and my experience and also the voting system and everything. But in-universe, I'm like, what are... what is the context for most of these missions? I'm so confused. Yeah, we don't really... we shouldn't care about our base being compromised because the next step is for us to just to walk into the, the uh, judgment thing and then leave this place forever. 45,000 experience. Reward is a life pack again. Defeat all enemies without losing all your allies. No str no quick exit for this one. And our entire party is scattered. Not only is our entire party scattered, but most of these people are facing off against two enemies or more. Four and six could team up on the two enemies in front between them. F five and three could team up on the two enemies be between them. One and two could probably run over and team up on the enemies between them, but I don't know if they could move that far. I'm guessing no. There's a Gravis. Aside from that, it's lots of crappy drones and three melee units. So despite the despite the awkward situation, everyone's kind of doing fine, frankly. There's three melee units and six crappy drones and then one ranged dude, and that's really it. Okay. Huh. It seems reasonable to have three, five, three, and four all just team up on the on the two people in the middle because they're they're two of the toughest enemies on the map, and they're grouped up. But then that leaves six in a situation where they're facing off against two people alone, which is bad for their survival rate. Unless I want to have them just st hang out until the other people press the button, but then five could be flanked. And as, as per usual, the map's probably going to be smaller than I expect it to be, which adds to the issue of, like, how jammed into one location everyone might be. One is in a bad spot. They're completely isolated and alone. And... The button that likely opens their prison is probably the one on the bottom right. Unfortunately, you can't tell for sure. It might be the top left one, for all I know. And if that's the case, nobody's really near that button besides maybe three, but... If three presses the button, they'll be as far away from the rest of the people as one would be if, she, if they just went the long way around. So opening the button on the right... Opening the door on the right makes almost no sense, whereas opening the door on the left makes a lot of sense, because it lets six quickly reunite with the rest of the party for team combat. I might have three and four fight the people in the middle, and then have five fight the people in the top left while pressing the button so that six can join in like, with them. And then the people in the bottom left just will slowly approach us from some distant location. Interesting. Okay. Clicking on all the wrong buttons. There's the position one. Okay. So, Toya, Mana, Nagi, Sahiro, Yoko, the usual. And then I need to figure out who goes where. The person left at one is going to be going on a long trek all alone. So, Nagi is probably the go-to person to send on that roll so she can run for it. Mana is probably a good choice for five. Because they're going to be right up in, in the business of two enemies while pressing a button. Yoko could help Mana. Sho could help Mana. Sihiro. Somebody's going to have to kind of face off against this dude alone. Which, which, which should probably be Sho. Because Sho is the, is the toughest character in the party, kind of. But at the same time... Show is good at assists, so having Show with the team makes the most sense for to use his strengths. 
So Toya is the other character that's really good at surviving, so Toya should probably be the one that faces off alone while the other people cooperate. Let's see, Sho, Sahiro, Mana, Yoko. Let's put Sihiro in six. So that this is Mana. So it'll be Sho working with Yoko. I think that makes sense. Okay. They're making me put a lot of thought into positioning, which I'm fine with. You are so far away from everyone, Nagi, but that's fine because you're incredibly fast. Oh, this is the specific situation where having uh, Agito in the party would probably help because Ag Agito could just go through this wall. And that would just invalidate the whole part of her being, them being isolated in the first place. Agito's so weird because, like, the level design... They're a character that can specifically, like, negate level design, essentially. But I don't want to keep giving all the experience to Agito because they're going to be dead soon. Even though, yes, it would help me develop skills that, that she, he could pass on to somebody, but I don't know. Something feels weird about doing that. Wow, you really made it all the way here, huh? This is one of those games where movement range is weird, you know that? I can make it this far. Or I can go all the way around the corner. Oh my goodness. It's like... It hasn't... It, well, I don't think it was really fully apparent until this moment how weird movement is. But the movement in this game is like Mario and Rabbids where just bizarre things happen. So as far as I can tell... If I'm moving away from the mathematical center of the circle, which if you look at the mini-map, you can actually see my movement circle is, is on the map. If I move away from the mathematical middle of the circle, then it, it Pac-Mans and shrinks. But if I move towards the mathematical center, it doesn't shrink. So I, if I run all the way out to here, it finishes shrinking and then I'm stuck. And then I'll, my only move I, can, I have available to me is to re re retrace my steps. But... You'll see here, it only kind of shrinks when I'm moving perpendicular to the center. Which is probably just slight jitteriness. Then if I move back towards the center, it doesn't shrink. And I continually move around in this shape. Which is just like... The most bizarre system. <laughs> it's just odd. So she's practically with everybody now. I can't raise the target's move. I can raise my own agility, so I will. And, uh, she'll be here to help out you next round. Damn. That was fast. Gonna do a behind attack. Chance to inflict stun on all enemies on the map. Tempting. It'd be very effective for this round. Just to give our ourselves maximum mo mobility. But it won't do damage is the problem, and I want to do damage. Could go Gamma Flare, but it's very expensive. Tempest is even more expensive. But they're... It's... They're, they're AoE attacks that are paradoxically my most damaging attacks. Take this. They're just incredibly expensive. Let's go. Y'all are all bunched up. Almost like you want Sho to run up behind you and then hit you with an AoE attack. Yep, they'll be fine. What a shame. Never not funny. <laughs> Never not funny. So you can reach the button, right? No, you can't reach the button invalidating this entire plan. Hmm. Invalidating this entire plan. That's the door I want to go through. Can I defer through a wall, I wonder? Unfortunately, we can't know until Mana's already standing over there. Let's go. Can Yoko reach Mana to help with the deferral? She cannot. Not really. She can from here. Which actually is kind of valid, because I could attack from here. Well, I don't want to attack from here, because I want to do the deferral. 
but is that val is that worth doing over just attacking these guys? I think that uh, I think Sahir is just gonna have to wait out, wait for a turn. The motivation, brain hacker, amnesia, dementia. You still only have single target attacks, unfortunately. Just keep hoping for more. This should hurt. Mana might as well just help at this point. That's gonna hurt. Hello, Sohiro. How you doing? Having a fun time? I can heal all of my allies in the entire map. Not really worth it. It's technically on my option list. Uh, let's go hang out by this gate, I guess. Maximize my movement range when people open it, hopefully. Actually, based on what we know about how the circles work, I want to stand closer to this side of the, of the door. Here come the drones, hitting my strongest character. Oh, she is so gonna psychic punch you guys. Oh, the assist. Ow. Ow. Focus fire, huh? Wait, you still have more turns? Oh, that was an assist? Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you forget that I was overpowered as shit? <laughs> you, you seem to have forgotten that I'm overpowered as shit. <laughs> and just get back up when I die. <laughs> That was some major focus fire, damn. Oh god. Let me guess, the melee guy's gonna run over here. No, he already, he already attacked Toya, we're fine. Okay. I could really use access to my healer right about now. Oh god, they were going around that corner, huh? Okay, I might be in some trouble. The level designers seem to have realized that the biggest way to hurt your party is to split them up like crazy, so it's like hard to figure out where to even where to even go with them. So two characters are basically dead. Especially since Nagi just died a second ago. I need to press the button. Stop it, I need to press the button. Alright, uh we're facing hostile well, resistance. For probably gonna need the defer. About that far in range, except you can't go past the drones. I have to assume that I, yeah, I have to do it like this because the the corner might get in my way. So pretty much just has, she has to be like right behind the drones. I want to get the healer in. Oh, I'm really in a spot now. So I'm planning on doing an AOE from behind them. They will not counter me. That looks like it hurt. Facing hostile resistance let's for begin. everyone's sake. I'm here for you. I'm bloody knackered. Get your ass out of here. You're bloody knackered, you say. Well, thankfully, you also have a self-heal, so let's go for that. Oh. No. Her sanity's already down to zero. The, ten the temptation to plan accordingly there. If she heals herself, she'll she'll go crazy. I could go over behind the drones, but then Sohiro's just trapped for longer, and I kind of need Nagi and Sohiro to meet up so they can heal each other.
I am torn. Let's just wait. Because both these, yeah, both these will use sanity. That only uses five sanity, but I, I don't need GP. Button is pressed and a healer is released. All right, Toya. We need you to save Nagi. Can I still get behind this dude? What? Wow, movement's weird in this game. If you walk over there and grab that, you can't go around behind him again to... I want to run behind him to heal. But the, but the movement range Pac-Man's... So, if I, so even though it's within my movement range based on how distance works, if I run over here and pick that up, then go back over here, I can't go behind this guy because the bizarre Pac-Man logic of like... By the way, I'm, it's, I keep calling it Pac-Man logic, but it's not based on the logic of how Pac-Man moves or the looping screens or anything like that. I'm just talking about how it literally looks like Pac-Man because it's pizza slicing and shit. So if I grab that item, I can't go behind this guy even though it's such a tiny distance because their system of movement's like entirely arbitrary. It's bizarre. The more I look at him, the more I'm confused by the decision of how it works. Where I'm just like, excuse me? That's how it works? Are you, are you serious? So he's a melee user, so I can just get slightly out of range and then I'm safe. How's that? Let's do this. And then Nagi can come Facing in and do the same thing. Resistance. But from the front. Because I don't want her to be within range of those guys. Uh, but if those guys don't die, then... They'll reach Nagi. Let's do Let's show first. Let's see. The rubble strike is unnecessary unless I can hit both these guys with it, which I think I can't. That guy might be able to run over and attack Nagi if she goes behind. That's a problem. But the drones will definitely attack, so I should still do it. What's the health on this guy? Low. And you're in assist range, so a normal attack should suffice just fine. Oh, yeah. That sufficed just fine. Show is, about, show is about to get attacked by so many people. They're all going to start assisting each other. Oh, it's f I should never... Ah. This is a weird level. Also, that's a swastika. That's... That's just a swastika right there, isn't it? It looks like it? I think it forks the wrong way sometimes. No, that's that's just... That's weird to look at. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Mon is down to one hit point. It's just so here now, isn't it? And Nagi. Let's do Nagi's turn. The plan was to run all the way over here. I'm just trying to be out of range of anyone who might attack her, but that seems almost impossible because almost every attack direction will attack her. But I I've trapped myself in a position where like like five enemies are all coalescing around one central point, which means we're kind of doomed. What? Facing hostile resistance. That's a thing in this game. There are item packs that hurt you. When did that start happening? That's not very nice, Mr. Video Game. This should be fine. No! Oh, come on. How's that? Well, that screwed me. And then she died. <laughs> and then she died of the poison. When did that start being a thing that happens in this game? All right, well. I can't group heal Yoko and Mana and everyone. I should probably heal Yoko first. Because she's half defeated and near enemies, whereas Mana's not reachable. Unless these guys attack Mana, which they might. Let's see to those wounds. This uh, is a bit of a mess. Of all people, Nagi missed. Nagi missed, and now there's a decent chance of uh, Toya being defeated because he just he just took that hit, and then the two drones are coming. They're AOEing each other. All you had to do was move out of the way. You just had to they, like he he. Ah, uh, yep, there goes Toya. 
He shot from his starting position. All he had to do was move very slightly, and then he wouldn't be killing his teammate when he shot. But he did it anyway. Wow. Didn't realize Yoko would be tanking for our party today, but damn, every single member of the party is singly focused on her. Ooh. This is an opportunity, though. Okay, oh my god, are there gonna be so many ass assists that show goes down? No. This looks bad. Okay, the bad news is half my party is dead. The good news is almost every enemy just decided to stack on top of each other, which means I can do something like, uh... Let's see, Rubble Strike is 106, but the real damage one is Searing Blast. But it's smaller range. That's some serious damage I can put out, though. That's interesting. Probably want to do Rubble Strike just for the damage. And you get over here. Really, I can't get around the corpse. Because Mana's going to be heading this way, and I want to do an AoE heal, while hopefully she's able to do some kind of... Ah, she's so far away, though. And her movement speech sucks. It's her biggest weakness. What a shame. But I want to do an AoE heal. It's the best I can do at this moment. Good. Oh, I'm really in the spot now. I'm really in the spot now. You don't have, like, anything, do you? Shit. Our longest range attack is... Concussion. Which will reach nobody. You, like, really can't reach, too. God damn. It might have been best to have Sohiro and Sho run away than have Mana go Berserk right here and then go charging into their faces with probably an AoE attack. But usually the AI is not nice enough to give me the AoE attacks in those situations. And her sanity is so low, I basically just want to have her wait. She can defer. Uh, it takes her down to almost nothing, but it's probably better than waiting. I'm not done yet. Now your sanity is getting really low. You, see, this is 25 sanity. Is Searing Blast? Searing Blast is actually better for that. This will do higher damage. Let's focus it on that guy. I don't know if the, I don't know if it actually does different damage per enemy based on zone or anything. It might be just equal. Now it's just two drones. So half the enemies are defeated. Let's continue to spread our characters out a bit. There, the healer finally gets to heal. Mana has 930, which is not great, because if, if they team up on her, they'll probably take her down. I don't think... I think two drone attacks probably won't defeat Mana, but the problem is that there'll be also be an assist attack. Oh, thank God. They attacked Sho, and Sho did that. That's... Okay, no assists are happening now, regardless. Wow. He got the advance shot on both of them. Oh, no. That's the thing that you don't want to have. Please attack the drone. Please attack the drone. Please. Okay. Time to run away from him. Are you okay? Uh... There's, there's two enemies remaining. And they're both over there. Time to go attack them with something that makes me go berserk. Hooray. Where's my AoE? Is that... Melee area attack. 
Wait, she just yells? That's her power? Damn. That sound effect is hilarious. The audio, the, the, the sound design in, the, in this game in a lot of ways is just really funny. Uh, I mean, at this point we win. All that's left is one crappy drone, and those characters will obliterate him because they're, they're mad. Uh, should I just defer to her and see if she attacks the drone again? A concerted strike. Yeah, there you go. So I screwed up pretty royally in a few spots, but we made it work anyway. And that's that's one of the fun ways for these things, these missions to turn out sometimes. S rank. <laughs> According to the game, I can do no wrong. <laughs> Feels like a lottery, I mean a, a slot machine when everyone's leveling up. Uh, Sho and Sahiro have a point. serious consequences this could mean serious consequences this isn't good <laughs> something something agito right who do you think the traitor is agito i see huh well i guess if you think so it might actually be true it's so harsh to think about Same dialogue every single time. <laughs> and then Akito's like, ah, so you think Traitor is? Is it Toya? Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe you're right. And then nothing changes. Ta-da. One last, nope. No one last volley of dialogue before the big bad decision happens. Level up so hero and show. I was working my way somewhere, right? Target will attack twice for three. Whoa! Damn. That's good. It's gonna take a while to get to that one, though. I need three more points into enlightenment first. Jeez. That's a really expensive skill to learn. <laughs> Akashic Lore is only four skills. Yeah, Deja Vu, Oblivion, Daydream, and Enlightenment, but they require tons of points to get to. Especially Daydream. Skips the next enemy phase and grants another ally phase. All you need is a billion points. Five points into Oblivion. <laughs> so many points. But I want Deja Vu for the double attack, too. And But I also need to put three points into Mystic Shock in order to get to Oblivion, and... Fuck. These are really expensive skills. <laughs> Like, really expensive. Ah. Should I go for Mystic Shock and then go towards Daydream? I kind of have to choose between going for Daydream versus Deja Vu first. Which might be as far as you get, because who knows how much game's really left. Skipping the enemy phase entirely is fantastic, obviously. But it costs 160 GP and 80% sanity, so you can do it like once and then he goes crazy. Although, what if you went crazy and then used Daydream? And, like, the crazy version of show is like, I'm using this power anyway, for some reason. But Deja Vu is fantastic. Damn it. This increases the GP by... Eh, let's go for Mystic Shot. A hero. Heal even better, please. There you go. We're getting there. Well, time to kill a character that a fair number of people probably like. going to continue on for I know what must be done but I'm not anxious to do it
Well, complaining isn't going to solve anything either. Though I hate we're playing right into the inn's hands. Pain in the ass! Haven't we done this crap enough already? So we have to vote again. Another person to sacrifice. That is correct. Now choose. Whom will you discard this time? You. You always show up when we're least excited to see you. Is observing us from afar all you can do, coward? How long are you going to make us do this? If you wish to proceed, you must cast your vote in judgment. Forsake the life of another in exchange for your own happiness. That is the burden you must each bear. Is this the only way? I'm noticing a weird issue, which is that you press X to auto proceed in dialogue, which is a pretty standard feature for a lot of JRPGs that we've seen in other in other games, like uh, I believe it's in Tokyo Mirage Sessions and uh, was it Odin Sphere and other places. It's it's common enough. Uh, in this game, it just doesn't work. <laughs> like that's why the beginning of this, that cutscene was moving slowly. I was pressing X, I pressed X, and then it was auto proceeding, and it just wasn't. And then, it, when it, then, then I have to hit A to continue, and then auto proceed turns off every time I hit A, and I'm like, what? Why is auto proceed not working? But it happens every, like every other conversation, it works, and every other conversation it doesn't work again. I'm like, what's happening? Anyway, Toya, goodbye. Not Toya, Agito is your name. <laughs> being erased here? It's a shame being the bad guy. Turning traitor isn't good for your public image. Akito. Don't worry. Totally my bad. This is just how things turned out. But hey, it's not like I have any ill will towards anyone. It's just luck. You're born an enemy or an ally. That's all. Honestly, I don't have what it takes to actually kill anyone, so who cares? Well, that's probably true. Look, I'd love to stick around and chat, but I guess it's time. Thanks for everything, show. And I'm sorry. I had fun, though. Toodles! Yep, that, uh, the material definitely looks like, uh, the thing that I said it looked like. Shit, uh... Oh no, I forgot the name of the mineral. So, Agito's last word was... Toodles. These characters <laughs> react bizarrely to their own deaths. I'm starting to feel like... I'm starting to feel like this entire premise is fake. And nothing is ha nothing that we think is happening is even actually happening. And that it's all a weird revenge plan by the end just to, like, psychologically screw with the show for revenge. And that, like... And, and everyone's in on it. Like, it's a simulation. Then this is all fake, completely. But that- that- but my entire premise of me thinking that is just based on the completely alien behavior of all the characters. But that could just be the writing, so who knows? <sighs> We've done it again. Even if it's to move forward, there's no way this is the right thing to do. Something's wrong here. Ordinarily, the staircase appears just after our vote. This isn't right. What's going on? Judgment is not over for today, I'm afraid. I'm going to need you all to select one more time. What? Huh? That's complete bullshit! You gutless worm. Do you plan on continuing this until there's only one of us left? You string us along with some form of hope, and now this. That's rather wicked of you. Stop your worrying. 
This will be the final judgment. I promise. Final, you say? You long to reach me, correct? You long to save the world? Then judge. Theatrics won't save you. You have no option but to obey. There is really no other option. I hate that he's right. Damn it. And all we can do is comply. Well, shit. That's a twist. Does that mean there's a second traitor? I probably can't. Yeah, I can't do vision. So I can't check them. I just have to wonder who it is. Is it Nagi or is it Yoko? It's literally just me picking one at this point. Like, I just pick one arbitrarily because I don't know which one it is. That's not a good situation to be in. Well, this probably affects what ending I get, and it's going to be a coin flip. And by coin flip, it's I mean it's going to be completely preference, and that Yoko annoys me, and, Na and Nagi doesn't. <laughs> so I'm probably going to kill Yoko, because she's kind of annoying. Which is horrible to say, but, you know, video games, they're not, they're all not real people, at least. I can't, because you can't, like, you can, you can, you can just, you can be annoyed that I'm, like, saying they're not real people, because, like, an immersion thing and everything, but, like, I can't, it's not like I can base it on the story. I can't look at the story and be like, oh, yeah, that person's the traitor, and that person's not the traitor based on the story, because the story doesn't indicate anyone. They're just all moon people. So it's not a normal mystery where you can try to con uh, deduce who, who the traitor is. But not only is Nagi more specifically uniquely special in the party, especially since we just killed Agito, uh, but also if we want to if we want to try to take cues from the story, which I know does not impact this, uh, everyone's like Sho must not be a traitor because he glared at Sho, so that must mean he's safe. Well, Nagi shot him immediately. Uh, admittedly, she might have known that it wouldn't work, and so on. But she's the one that shot immediately. But yeah, this is a this is a coin flip at this point. I didn't. Yep. Attempt to be efficient with vision uh, points and be careful in case I in case I ever needed them in the future have led to me apparently not finding a second traitor, and now I get to kill somebody uh, without further information. And yes, the game has a single save system, and you save automatically when you enter here. So I can't. Uh, I can't go back to do that, to change that. So this is this is what happens in my playthrough, apparently. Oh, shit. But also, everyone's going to vote for Zenji. Shit. And I can't tell anyone who to vote for? That's not a, there's no dialogue? Oh, that's extra- that's extra brutal. So that, that means that not only is there a surprise second vote that happens out of nowhere that contradicts the previous patterns, which is, you know, fine for a twist and everything, but because of how the voting works in this game, where people vote for whoever's unpopular, it means that you you had to preemptively know there was multiple traitors and position both of them to be uh, voted out, because otherwise they'll vote out Zenji, who's not a traitor, so I lose regardless. The best I can do is put two votes for towards Yoko, which makes her have three votes, but that's still nowhere near enough to st stop Zenji from getting killed, who is innocent, but it's too late to do anything about it. I think we're gonna get a bad ending. I already know there's a secret ending you get from... There's a true ending you get from doing every single side thing. Uh, every, every single character's uh, personal mission. But I imagine there's also a good and bad ending based on whether or not you get the traitors out. Oh, well.
And why am I getting erased here? You guys just messing with me? Zenji. I know. Your point is struggling, is that it? But it makes no sense. Why am I the one getting the boot? Zenji, I know there's nothing I can say that'll comfort you. But still, I won't forget you. Show? <laughs> That's right. Of course you won't. Looks like I finally managed to leave my mark behind after all. We made a promise, Show. You better make good on it. Don't ever forget about me. And keep fighting. Of course. I'm not going to die here. Good. Because if you do, I'm going to beat your ass when I see you in hell. <sighs> well, later. Have fun saving the world. of a sin does he intend for us to bear? I believe we can climb higher now. We should go. Can't stop now, right? Please forgive us. We promise that we'll save the world. Let's go, everyone. We have to put an end to all this. Well, that was a surprise. We are now down to one party. Aren't we? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five characters. It's a six person party game, so now 100% of the surviving characters will be in the party at all times. Did Zenji go down in favorability when, she, when he got killed? I think he did. Yeah, no more choosing who comes and who goes. Everyone will be in the party at all times, and because Zenji's gone, uh, I don't have to... I mean, this is a really good party. <laughs> this is a really good party, this group of people. Monotoya, Yoka, Nagi, Sahiro, Sho. <laughs> it's not bad, all things considered, but now Zenji's gone, and... All right. There's four people dead. Yes, yeah, four people dead, so f out of six people, four of them get to use Materia. You get to choose who uses what now. So we lost... Zenji and Agito. And people can double up. I feel like healers should stick with healing. But maybe the healer should use Zenji's power then. Oh, he can stack up different ones, huh? Because they had dead more skills. You had resonance and brutality, so he can take both of them. You can take each tree, skill tree individually when you max them out. Oh, that's interesting. So he can take resonance, but without taking brutality if he wants to. Which makes sense. Uh, it makes sense for him to link up a bit. Then brutality can go to someone else. Yeah. This is my first time losing characters that have multiple ones. This guy had all three? So even if you have some points, then you get them. And, he, and no one person can have all of them. Okay. Warp flow. That's the teleport attack. It makes sense for you to have teleport attacks. I also might want to have other ones. There's a, oh, there's a lot going on here. This is complicated all of a sudden. Uh, dimension skills are like blink and stealth step, cruel step. Versus vital edge. Phase blade. Chance to instantly kill. You should probably use Dimension instead of Sense at this point. I 
Except sense was giving you a specific power. Which one was it? Silent slash. I don't want you to, you to lose silent slash. That, that was that was a really cool skill. Uh, you could use melee attacks. Dimension. Brutality. That was Zenji's skills. That makes some sense. Dominion and Death's Mark. Dominion is rank three of Zenji. That's probably like one skill. Yeah. Raise all allies stats. Okay, so you can get Dominion. Stat bonus character. Then Death's Mark was probably the ending of your tree. Middle of your tree. That's just uh, a few different attack powers. Did they have some range to them, I wonder? Chance of seal. No range, they're all melee attacks. Randomized damage. Fixed damage. I don't know if that's super useful for anyone in the party, but I could throw it on the melee character just to give her more options. This, that got weird. Yeah. So once they got further on the tree, they, they dropped more materia that can be individually equipped by different characters. So suddenly every single character, I believe, now has a piece of a, a previously dead character with uh, two slots emptied in, in total. Three, three slots empty. Damn. So if I'd gone slightly further with those other characters before they died, then I would have had probably every slot full or even not, a, not maybe even not even had more space to put anything in. All right. Next, we start re-equipping people, and then we find out how much there is here. Ooh. There's immediately two side objectives available. Interesting. Oh, the final battle lies ahead. Oh, this floor might just have one main mission. Okay, well, we'll see.